Hey you guys, it's Chloe and welcome to my channel, Align with Chloe, where I am on the journey of aligning my life to what truly matters to me. That means planning, budgeting, saving, and spending in ways that will help me reach my goals. If this sounds like something you are interested in learning more about, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, I'm bringing you a budget with me. We are budgeting my first paycheck in February. I am doing a bi-weekly budget so that means it's covering for two weeks so let's open up my planner and I'm gonna flip back to my finance section so these are my budgeting inserts that I've been waiting for if you want to check out my previous budget with me video I will link it up above you can see how I did it with just pen and paper, but these inserts are really nice to kind of help me keep more organized and make sure that I am hitting all the things that I need to hit. So the first sheet we have here is my paycheck breakdown. So I have my paychecks here already written in. I have this bonus income, which I put into sinking funds. Um, I have a video where I moved that money. I then have my serving paycheck. And then this is my other part-time job where I do office work and I also teach spin classes, which are just like fitness classes. The total of all that together is $1,906.79. My paychecks, my serving paycheck is a little bit smaller than normally because I was sick one, one or two shifts, I believe I had to take off. And then I ended up taking off the Saturday where I usually bartend and I make more money when I bartend. And that was my birthday. So, you know, sometimes we make hard calls, but I'm going to do my best to work with, you know, the money that I did make. And my main priorities is obviously to like number one cover bills and expenses. So that is always number one. You know, there may be times where it is really hard to save money. The amount of savings you might have might be $5. And I just want you to know that those little bits do add up. So if that is you today, don't feel bad. Be happy that you're saving anything at all. See where you can cut those corners. And I'm going to kind of go into that today. So 1906 but we're going to subtract out, oh, sorry, and 79 cents. And we're going to subtract out the $90 because that money doesn't exist in my mind. I already put it into sinking funds. So this is what we are left with now. Now, these are my bills um, that are happening during this time. I'm covering up how much each bill is because at the moment, I just don't feel comfortable sharing that information but you are seeing the total amount of my bills and what is due. So it's $1,072.54. So I'm going to subtract out my bills. And we're left with $744.25. So let's flip to this other page. So over here we have my paycheck breakdown. These are my variable expenses. These are my cash envelopes in my wallet. The only one not in my wallet is gas, just because I prefer to pay for gas on card. I hate having to go into the gas station and use cash. That's just me personally. Also, I don't think I mentioned this before, but my bills, I just have them do automatic payments. A lot of times they will give you a discount if you are doing automatic payments. Um, so I do do that. And as soon as I'm paid... I go ahead and pay all the bills that I can. So some of them like I'll pay ahead of time, like my credit cards, for example, and just leave that money in the bank account. Now, some people that doesn't work for them, they have to take the cash out, whatever works for you. But for me personally, I don't want to take the cash out and then put it back in. That just seems like a lot of work for me. So I hope that makes sense. Now going to these variable expenses, we're going to start with groceries and by the way I'm not going to include the cents the 25 cents we're just going to keep that in the in the bank account because we need to have a buffer in our bank account so it doesn't hurt to have a little chump change you know collecting in there now a lot of my expenses I do split with my boyfriend and then also remember this is for two weeks so for groceries I am going to well first of all let me take this out of my rings 
take this out here. Okay, move my binder out of the way just so I have a little more space here to write. So, for groceries, I'm going to do $150 for my half. And I'm going to start adding these amounts together so we can see how much we're spending on our expenses. Now, takeout. So this is where we're talking about when your paycheck is a little more tight and you still want to save. You need to ask yourself, what expenses can I cut down on? For example, takeout is a luxury. I don't need to do takeout. So I usually budget about $40 for two weeks. However, since I'm trying to save a little more money, I'm just going to budget $25. I'm just cutting that down a little bit so I can save more money. Household. We do need to get a few things. So I'm going to budget my $60. Fur babies. These are for my animals. This one I can't really cut down because they need food. They need cat litter treats like those things are important for their well-being gas again this one i can't necessarily cut down because i have to drive to go to work whatever but if you are more tight maybe it's like okay i'm not gonna go you know an hour out of town i'm gonna stay close by so i don't use as much gas so those are kind of some things you can ask yourself but for something like gas i would rather over budget so i'm gonna say fifty dollars Oh man, I forgot to add these up, huh? I always get sidetracked. Okay, 150, 25, 60, 115, and 50. Okay, so we're at $400 spending. So this would be something that I would totally knock out, but it's actually my mom's birthday. And i did not plan ahead which is not good i don't have like a gift category in my envelopes which i need to get so i'm just gonna go ahead and set aside forty dollars so this forty dollars is gonna go towards her coffee so this is another one that is not a necessity so if i'm trying to save more money then i can completely take this out of my budget or i can cut it down so lately i've been doing 25 dollars for two weeks so this time i'm just gonna do ten dollars then going into self-care this category encompasses a couple different things so this does seem high it's ninety dollars but that's because i do have to buy a few things that i have ran out of now kindness i'm gonna do the usual ten and miscellaneous um sometimes this amount will vary this is just to help if there's like an extra random cost that i need to buy so i'm gonna do ten dollars because i'm gonna roll over the 20 that i already have in my wallet so i feel like 10 is a good number so with that we are at 560 dollars for our expenses and i'm gonna go ahead and make a note to subtract um sorry messed up to subtract fifty dollars because i'm not going to take that out of the bank i'm going to leave that in my debit account so now what i need to do is take what i had left after bills which was 744 and i'm going to subtract out 560 and i'm left with 184 so that's how much i have to put into my sinking funds my savings challenges whatever i want to use that saving whatever I want to use that money for. So, you know, this is a lot lower than I would want, but that was my paycheck this time. That's what happens when you take time off. Um, I tried to cut back on some expenses that I felt comfortable cutting back on. So that is something that you can do. And um, yeah, so I'm just making that work for me. And I think $184 is still like a good amount to be saving. And so I'm you know, I'm always proud of me being able to save anything at all because this was not the case <laughs> like a year ago or a few months ago even. I would use that money to go on a Target shopping spree or something. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Whatever you can save, at least you're saving. I already wrote down some of my sinking funds. These are not all of my sinking funds, but these are the ones that I know I want to put some money into. These are more high priority for me right now currently.
So into emergency, I'm going to put $40. Into my Jeep, I'm going to put $20. Into medical, I'm going to put $10. Pet care is going to receive just $5. Taxes is going to receive just $5. Holidays, am I in the right category? Yes, okay. Holidays is going to receive $24 because it's almost Valentine's Day and I'm almost at my goal. My debt book, which is my saving $2,024 in 2024, and that is going towards my debt, I'm going to put in $50. And then I'm going to put $25 into my envelope box, uh, envelope box challenge, which is going towards us moving hopefully the end of this year and I have this extra five dollars I think I messed up when I was like preparing for this video let's go ahead and change pet care to ten dollars so we are now left with zero Oop. <laughs> which makes this a zero based budget because we made every dollar have a purpose out of my paycheck but I want to go ahead and um, write what I had saved total amount which I have it written out on the side I should have done this first but it was 184 so now that I've broken down my paycheck I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to go to my cash breakdown I'm gonna go ahead and write those categories out really quickly off camera Okay, so I have my amount that I'm saving here to reference, and I basically just try to do like the biggest bills that I can so that my wallet isn't super thick. <laughs> Add it up now and let's double check this math because I have made mistakes in the past so 200 plus 200 plus 260 30 and 4 okay that is correct 694 So that is how much that I will be taking out of the bank. So that is it. That is my budget for the next two weeks. I will be posting a cash stuffing soon where you will see this budget in action. So be on the lookout for that. And please leave a comment below. What are you currently saving for? What is your top priority that you are saving for today? Let me know down below and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.